So we're back with our Widgets Incorporated, our simple Excel income statement. This is our third installment. Here is where we left off with the number two video demonstration. So we left off showing how to get our formulas to be displayed within our document. Now we're going to talk about printing our document, printing our formulas, and getting rid of any orphaned rows and columns and describing what those are. So since we stopped here with our formulas, we're going to show how to print those first. So you would go up to File, click Print. It will bring up your Print dialog box. I always recommend that we preview our document prior to printing it. If you can see in this little quick preview and right down below it, this is going to print on three pages. We definitely do not want that. You usually want a financial statement to print on one page if possible. If it's readable, printing it on one page, then that would be optimal. This being a formula sheet, not as detrimental that it goes on one page, but still if it, if it can be read on one page, that's what we want to do. So we want to go to page setup and tweak some things. So I'm first going to assume that it will all fit on one page and still be readable. So my scaling, I'm going to fit one page wide by one page tall. And because my income statement is wider than it is tall, I think it's appropriate to change the orientation of the page in this instance. So I'm going to change from portrait to landscape, and then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to take another look at it, and I really can't tell if it's readable by the quick preview, so I'm going to preview it in a larger version by clicking on the preview button. And that will bring up the preview. And it is certainly readable. So if I can enlarge that for you, it is certainly readable. So I can print it in that format. Now let's go back to our original version of our income statement. So I want to get rid of these formulas. To do that, I'm going to click on Excel, go down to Preferences, and under, under the Authoring tab, I'm going to click View, and I'm going to unclick Show Formulas, and then click OK. So there's my original income statement back, good as new. And now I want to print my income statement. So I'm going to go back up to File, and then Print. Now, the same printing parameters I just selected for the formula page should hold through to now. So you can see that it is going to print one page to one page, but something just doesn't look right on that quick preview. So I'm going to click the large preview to get a better look at it. And if you see what's happening here, our income statement is flush to the left side of the page. We don't really want that. That doesn't look very professional. We want it to be centered on our page. So to do that, you're going to go back up to File, Page Setup, and this time we're going to click on our Margins tab. And then down at the bottom of this box, you're going to see Center on the Page. I'm going to center, center horizontally, and then it shows you here in this little diagram what that will look like. In some cases, you may find it beneficial to center vertically, but because my statement is so small, I'm not going to do that because I think it will look kind of odd to do that in this instance. And then click OK. Then go back up to File, click Print. And again, I'm going to preview it just to make sure that it's what I want. And now you can see it's centered on the page horizontally and ready to be printed.